question I had about applying to university was what course I should do and whether I would be qualified for it. So I did Biomedical Sciences as an undergraduate degree and it's quite a broad course so it um, covers a variety of subjects and areas so I wasn't sure which kind of side of it I'd rather go into. Um, I had a meeting with the Career Service here in Newcastle and also went to the Postgraduate Open Day and went to a few talks and realised that exercise physiology was the route I wanted to go down. Um, a lot of people do sports science before this postgraduate so I wasn't sure if I could qualify but after speaking to a lecturer on the course I realised that I should be okay doing it and so I applied. And now that I'm here um, I'm really enjoying it. Obviously there's aspects that they know more of, the people who did sports science before, but there's other aspects that I've done a lot before that they've not done so there's a lot of overlap and um, so it's really nice and I feel like it was a good choice for me. The biggest question I had about my course was what exactly would I be learning and by what methods of teaching would I be learning this? To find out more information about it I went to the postgraduate open day and found out more about the different topics that they do on the master's course and kind of like the facilities that they have. Now that I've started on the course I know that they have like such a variety of facilities in the labs, in the environmental chamber, in the gate track and also we learn via like lectures and seminars too so we really do learn by a variety of methods and the actual content is also very varied but from like exercise in the heat to cells in the body and the immune response. The biggest question I had about university study was how independent was it going to be? So in my undergraduate I learned mainly via lectures and labs and although though there was some independent study most of it was done in these um, lectures and so going into a master's where I've heard it is quite independent I was quite apprehensive as to what this was going to be like but now that I'm on the master's I know that it's definitely a positive thing um, there's still a lot of guidance and links to external like research websites and things provided by the lecturers which I didn't think that I would have I thought I would just be set up on my own to do like all of this research but there is still like help and also it is a good thing in the sense of like in modules where you can choose what you do your research on and then present it back I can choose something that I'm actually interested in rather than being stuck doing um, like a presentation on something that I'm not really interested in so it's definitely a good thing The biggest question I had about living in Newcastle was would I still be able to afford to live out of home? So I know for undergraduates there is the government student loan which I took out myself which really helped pay all the bills but I wasn't sure for a postgraduate if you still got that and so I went to the talk at the postgraduate open day that Newcastle University had on finances and heard about all the different options available and all of the bursaries and scholarships that not only the university offer but also like wider schemes um, which provide money for people like me who are doing a postgraduate. Um, I also found out about the government postgraduate loan which I didn't realise was a thing. The biggest question I had about Newcastle University was would the clubs and societies feel different now that I'm a postgraduate instead of an undergraduate? So I feel like it is quite daunting joining a new club and society no matter how old you are but also as a postgraduate sometimes you feel like you may be judged because you are older than the others um, and maybe not fit in as well because a lot of people are quite a lot younger than you but what I found is that's not the case at all and um, everyone is so welcome and especially in the club that I'm in which is the athletics and cross country club and they really can't you don't really see age you kind of just find your friends and it doesn't matter between you guys how old anyone is um, and if there is a, an age difference that is like visible a lot of the time it's quite nice um, that they can see that you've been through a lot of the things that they have been through and they can come to you for advice or things like that it is just a nice experience being a part of the club and I wouldn't say being postgraduate is like a negative thing when joining clubs and societies that should put anyone off from doing it. <laughs>